so uh, in my previous video I couldn't figure out how to make the infrared to work because the manual is just I just couldn't uh, understand what they were saying there uh, it didn't make any sense to me and when I tried it it didn't work but I figured out how how it does work as a matter of fact I figured out that there is a hidden menu in here and you can actually uh, change some things so the way to do it is you hit that button once quickly release and then hold the button down and this is what's going to happen so quickly and it comes to this uh, menu right here and as you can see I'm gonna, I'm gonna try a different light is that better uh, as you can see there is an a uh, I'm gonna take my tweezers and use it as a pointing tool uh, infrared detector infrared sender set up power off about and an exit but you only have one button so well I thought maybe if I put in the infrared buttons that has decrease increase nothing happened but if you push once briefly the power or the test button it goes to next down if you push it again it goes to the infrared now if you hold the button down uh, oops, sorry about that it goes to the infrared detector and now if I if I uh, push on a uh, remote control then you can see that uh, well, let me turn that light off altogether because it seems to me that it was reflecting really badly so now if I push a power button uh, it says NEC AD81 is the code uh, and um, if I push the OK button it says AD13 if I push down button it's AD40 and so on and so forth uh, backwards and, and mouse button and so basically these codes now I can actually write them down and uh, there are programmable uh, remotes where you can actually program these uh, infrared values in so it's working okay so how do you get out of it where well, you push the button down and when you let go you get back the menu so right now it's on infrared detector so I'm gonna go down and then infrared sender so that's where you would if I uh, wanted to go in there as a setup hold the button down until you go to setup and right now I have it on auto uh, turn on into the auto uh, mode and uh, the next thing is a start mode so if you go down once and then hold down the button it it says that select the main menu and a tester is what will come on and uh, and then uh, if you hold down the button it it does that okay then we're gonna go and exit and then it goes to a tester okay so again one more time if you push down once and then hold the button uh, on the beginning then you get the, uh, uh, then you get the uh, the menu where you can go to the infrared so I'm going to power off. I'm going to power it back on again, and this time I want to go to the to this menu, which is the infrared, and so I can use the buttons as well. So how do you do that? You push once and then hold. And made a liar out of me. like that I have <laughs> inadvertently I changed the menu
Okay. So I was just not uh, not doing it fast enough. So one more time. You double click uh, double click when you are in the other menu. Okay. So one more time. Uh, that's about. By the way, uh, let's go to exit. So we powered up. It goes to this mode. And then if you want to go to the infrared, you double click uh, the test button. And then you get this menu. And then you can go to the setup or whatever by pushing the test button. And then if you want to go into the setup, you hold down the button. And now it's in the uh, um, auto mode. And then it asks you what, what do you want to do. You have these four options. Auto off. Uh, start mode so I'm gonna go down to start mode and I'm gonna go to the main menu and then select it instead of the tester okay and then I'll go exit Oops, sorry about that okay so now a long hold and a uh, longer hold and then release shuts it off so now it's in a normal mode and it comes up with this menu where you can uh, go to exit and now it's going to be in a test mode so turn it off so click once and second time a little longer and then you get this menu now and then so you can you can go wherever you really want to go but uh, uh, in my case I want to go to the exit oops sorry about that they're too fast and now it's going to be in a standard testing mode I think later on I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it back to the zip socket because that's what I'm going to use it most of the time is using the zip socket so okay now go ahead and remove the oh, popped off the button put the zip socket in let's go ahead and measure the, in this case we know it's a MOSFET so you push just once button and there it is MOSFET gives me the values gives me the uh, where is the drain gate and the um, um, source and uh, gives me all the values uh, the gain of the MOSFET and so on and so forth so again if you push once and a second time uh, bam bam sometimes you have to do it a couple times then it comes up to this menu here so now I can go to infrared if I wanted to okay and then hold down the test button but I want to exit out of here, so I want to be in a test mode. Okay, I hope that uh, this will be helpful to you guys, because uh, I surely was uh, uh, not very happy that it didn't do exactly what I wanted it to do. So that that's all. If you have any questions, please leave it leave it in the comment section.